Everything is wrong with Generation Alpha. With unrestricted internet access, overly matured minds, and eyeballs glued to their mobile screens, Generation Alpha has already been dubbed the scariest generation ever. But why is that? Why are kids these days making their predecessors uncomfortable? Is it simply because Gen Z kids are terrified of being dethroned as to the target audience? Or is there something actually messed up about these kids? In today's video, we'll tell you how the kids of Generation Alpha are going to change society forever. Although, we don't know if it will be for good or not. But most importantly, we need to understand how this new generation is different from us. What are the things that are affecting the minds of young kids and making them emotionally detached, aggressively rude, and dangerously spoiled? Here is everything you need to know about Gen Alpha and their impact on the world. Who is Generation Alpha? However, let's shed some light on who is Generation Alpha. The kids born in or after the year 2010 are known as Generation Alpha, followed by Gen Z, born between 1997 and early 2010s. These kids will be the first generation to never experience a time without social media. This generation, represented by more than 2 billion people, will be called digital natives, and there's no doubt that these kids will be more tech-savvy than any other generation has ever been. The reason for this is that these children are basically born with mobiles in their hands. While this phrase has been previously used by boomers and Gen Z for millennials and Gen Z as well, it has never been completely true. The earliest age kids used to own a phone in early 2010s was from 10 to 12. However, this is rapidly changing. In today's technologically driven world, kids as young as 1 to 2 consume parent-regulated social media content. On the other hand, 6 to 7 year old kids are active social media users, having internet accounts and unrestricted access to social media. The addiction and independence on mobile phones are affecting their minds and the older generations are quick to notice it. Some people even believe that Gen Alpha's overstimulated brains are borderline dangerous. And this becomes quite evident when a 6 year old starts shouting obscenities at his parent over an iPad. <laughs> Why is Generation Alpha different? As the baby boomer and millennials shrink in size, it's time for the Generation Alpha to step up as to the center of attention. However, these kids will be extraordinarily different, and this is because they will be growing up in a different world than we have. However, before we start booing and saying that Generation Alpha sucks, let's understand what might be causing this behavior in young kids. Of course, social media addiction and unrestricted access to content online are the biggest factors contributing to aggressiveness in Gen Alpha kids. But the question is, what's making them so addicted to mobile phones in the first place? The reason for this is that parents don't care, and neither do teachers. They feel like the easiest way to prevent a tantrum is by giving them whatever they want. And seriously, this is not even their fault. If you delve a little deeper and start comprehending generational characteristics, you'll realize that their parents, who by the way are Gen Z, are so busy and overworked that they don't have enough time to manage their kids in a psychologically correct way. They simply hand them phones and gadgets to keep them quiet while they stay busy in their work and personal lives. Another reason why Gen Alpha kids are so different from their predecessors is the after effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Whatever we say, the world never quite recovered from it. It merely shifted to a new normal. Life as we knew it doesn't exist anymore and probably never will. And while we may not realize it, the pandemic has deeply affected the minds of Generation Alpha kids. Yes, Gen Z was affected by it too, but its impact on the younger generation was more drastic than you think. Think of it this way. An entire generation of kids can find inside their houses when they should be playing out on the grounds and attending preschool. Instead of making real connections and socially interacting with kids to their age, they're stuck inside their houses with two years of fragmented online academic development and access to unlimited internet 24 hours a day. Needless to say, Gen Alpha kids didn't come out of the pandemic being quite normal. In fact, according to the Fortune, kids coming out of the pandemic have become so violent that they're sending teachers to hospitals. The 2022 to 23 school year has been a particularly violent year for educators. In Florida, a high school student beat a professional unconscious. A student in Georgia left her teacher with difficulty walking and a group of students in Texas sent their assistant principal to the hospital after an assault. This is a clear indication that something is terribly wrong with the minds of these kids, and social media is the root cause of all the problems. Will technology define Generation Alpha? 
Despite all of this, one thing is certain, the Gen Alpha kids are way ahead of other generations when it comes to technology. They don't only know how to use it, but they're also pretty informed when it comes to creating things. However, the question stands, will they drive technology or the technology will drive them? Seeing how these kids cannot peel their eyes away from screens and how overly engrossed they are in social media content, it seems like technology is starting to define them. A lot of studies have been done to explain how screen affects developing brains, and the early results are not great. While letting kids watch videos on the internet might seem harmless and even educationally essential, it has drastic effects on early development. Researchers recently made headlines when they discover the excessive screen time can result in the underdevelopment of certain parts of the brain. And this is not just it. Screen time can also affect a kid's physical abilities, making them lazy, depressed, and anxious. This could possibly be the reason why a lot of Gen Alpha kids have unstable mental health from an early age. How Generation Alpha Uses Social Media Since all these problems keep circling back to screen time and social media, it's important to understand how this generation is using the internet. After all, watching your young cousins growing up and telling you what's cool and what's not is definitely a little uncomfortable. However, what's weirder is how the alpha kids are using social media platforms. The things that they're posting and saying online are a tad bit more serious than just being silly and weird. The social media is filled with a lot of adult and explicit content. It's just how the human mind works. Anything sexual and explicit gains hundreds of views, and among those viewers, a lot of them are Generation Alpha and Gen Z kids. What's more disturbing is that a lot of these influencers are using this to their advantage. They consistently post explicit content even if they know that a major part of their audience is comprised of underage kids. A lot of Gen Alpha kids are obsessively active on TikTok, which is defined as a 17 plus platform. Despite this, Gen Alpha parents are okay with this. As a result of this unregulated usage of social media platforms, kids are coming across with a lot of explicit content, which is persistently affecting their overly stimulated minds. They're picking up obscenities and adopting a slang manner of talking that it's quite popular on the internet these days. And this is not only affecting their language and vocabulary, there have been many instances of kids as young as third graders being caught watching pornographic content on school premises. A user recently posted a confrontation between her kid on Reddit and she said, Generation Alpha is doomed. She told the audience how she has been working at kid daycare centers for five years. However, for the last two years, she has been noticing a difference in children's attitudes. Mind you, these kids are no more than six to seven years old. The woman told the internet that she and her band perform for schools and kids. While kids should ideally enjoy this interactive performance, she has been recently seeing a quite violent attitude from the Gen Alpha kids. Instead of enjoying it, they shout things like, this is torture and this is stupid. She even had an interaction with a six-year-old kid who said, do you think I give a f about this? She wasn't only heartbroken and baffled by these responses that she was getting from little kids who are literally six-year-olds, but she was also concerned about their mental health and how teachers were handling the situation. While kids shouted curse words at their performers, teachers sat there with their hands folded like it was something normal. It seems like teachers and parents have accepted that kids aren't kids anymore. They are grown way more than they should be at such a young age. Everything that Generation Alpha will ruin. Based on these interactions, the older generations are concerned about how this behavior is going to affect and change society as the Gen Alpha kids come of age. Some argue that the next generation of kids will be advanced and extraordinary. However, it remains a fact that these kids are so engrossed in the digital world that they don't even know how to read and write. Regardless of this, the previous generations will have to make amends with the fact that they are slowly being replaced. The boomers killed the radio star. Millennials cork the wine industry, and Gen Z made everyone hate skinny jeans. But what about Generation Alpha? Will they bring drastic changes and compel us to change the way we live today? Well, possibly. The Generation Alpha might be remembered as the generation that finally ruined our society. To give you a little glimpse of it, we have put together a list of all the things that we think the Gen Alpha kids will ruin. 1. Self-esteem Yes, top of the list is self-esteem. 
Constantly being on social media will foster a culture of comparison in kids. When kids consume racist and misogynistic content, where young girls are ridiculed for having not enough curvy bodies and guys are encouraged to be sexist in the name of humor, this is exactly what they're going to learn. Social media is a weird place, but you can learn a lot of great things from it. However, you cannot always keep the toxic and explicit content away from their eyes, especially in this age. This content is going to make kids feel inadequate at a young age, shattering their self-image as a result. They will resort to harmful coping mechanisms like self-harming, acting out to gain attention, or simply detaching from the world. Having self-confidence is essential to be self-aware. This doesn't only improve happiness in life, but also makes you more cheerful and positive. Since Gen Alpha kids so obviously lack kindness and empathy, it is important to make this to the forefront of our teachings. Show morally and emotionally uplifting content to the younger generation so that they understand and develop empathy instead of adopting violent attitudes from the internet. 2. Cybersecurity Another thing that probably won't exist as Gen Alpha kids take over is cybersecurity. With people so deeply obsessed with technology and new advances every day, it will become increasingly challenging for social media platforms to combat the risk of security and protecting personal data. Kids will get smarter and they will have access to things like people's pictures, messages, and emails, which basically translates to no security at all. 3. Physical Interaction Face-to-face -face interactions have already been reduced to zero thanks to the pandemic. And we believe that Gen Alpha kids are probably going to let it continue. As we said, the Gen Alpha never really recovered from the impact of the pandemic. Needless to say, this generation is going to be even more socially impaired than Gen Z. 4. Screen Dependency This goes without saying that the new generation will be more screen dependent than any generation has ever been. The Gen Alpha has been born with mobiles attached to their hands and there's no way this will change in the coming years. In fact, as they grow up, this addiction to mobile phones and social media will grow into an even dangerous threat. This screen dependency will stop the mental development of young kids, which means that they will lack the proper emotional capabilities to handle situations and make informed decisions. In addition to this, they will also be easily influenced by the content that they see online. 5. Shortened Attention Span The next generation and its obsession with the internet is also going to affect our focus and attention span. Just think about it. From 1 hour long movies to 10 minute long YouTube videos to 1 minute long shorts and reels. We've come a long way. It has become difficult for us to focus on one thing for more than a minute. We're constantly scrolling through reels and guess what? It's so addicting that we simply cannot stop ourselves. This is exactly what kids are doing these days. The moment they come back from school and tuition, they want their iPad and tablet so that they can go through reels on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. And parents are happy to give whatever they want since it's essential to prevent them from throwing a tantrum.